A tale of seduction and betrayal, the intrigue of Georges de la Tour's The Fortune Teller. Georges de la Tour's The Fortune Teller is a stunning artwork that showcases the artist's brilliance in creating realistic and dramatic scenes of everyday life. Painted in the 1630s, this masterpiece is one of La Tour's early works, signed with his name and the town of Luneville in Lorraine, where he spent most of his career. The painting was first recorded in 1650, in the inventory of Jean Baptiste de Bretagne in Paris, where it was valued at a remarkable sum of 30 livres. It then passed through various owners, including the Lemonnier de Laurier family and General Jacques de Gastines, before being sold to Waldenstein in 1948. It was acquired by the Met in 1960. The painting has been altered over time, it has a later addition at the top and has been cut down to the left. It is possible that it was originally a pendant to another work by Latour, such as the cheat with the Ace of Diamonds or the cheat with the Ace of Clubs. The painting depicts five figures in a contemporary interior, dressed in lavish costumes that display Latour's skill in rendering textures, patterns, and colors. A young man, seemingly wealthy and naive, is surrounded by four women who pretend to tell his fortune while secretly robbing him. The fortune teller, or the plural, des deserts de Bonnie Aventure, was the title used for this painting during Latour's lifetime, and the subject was common in Europe in the 16th and 17th centuries. Latour was influenced by Caravaggio, who popularized this theme in a similar format. The painting also reflects the social prejudices and stereotypes of the time, as the women are presumably depicted as Roma people, often derogatorily called gypsies in the early modern period. The viewer is meant to be both attracted and repelled by the scene, as the women's beauty and charm contrast with their deceit and theft. The Fortune Teller is a captivating piece that reveals not only the artist's technical prowess, but also his ability to create intriguing narratives that engage the viewer's emotions and imagination.